Hey kids, my name is Jared Glorious, and I'm going to be talking to y'all today about the brain. This screenshot is from a class I took at Duke last semester called Functional Neuroanatomy, and the red highlighted section is called the precuneus, which is what allows you to see your dreams unfold while you sleep or use your imagination. If I'm lucky enough and resourceful enough, one day I hope to use this part of the brain to cure blindness. The study of the brain is called neuroscience. The goal of neuroscience is to understand how we interpret the world and in turn react back to it. While most organs like the heart or liver only have one function, the brain is made up of many different structures, all with different functions they perform, while still working together as a single unit. Some of these functions are sensory processing, recognition and reaction of our environment, learning and memory, control of our muscles, planning and decision making, and basically anything you have to think to do. Similarly to a bunch of supercomputers connected by wires, the brain works by sending electrical signals across long cells called neurons. These neurons go from sensory areas like the eyes to a special processing center in the brain responsible for translating crude environmental signals into a perceivable thought that you can understand. This picture utilizes an imaging technique called tractography to show the paths these neurons take within the brain. The nervous system is made up of three parts. The cerebral cortex, or wrinkly part of the brain we think of as the processing center. The brainstem and spinal cord, which are the highway for signals from the brain to the body and vice versa. And the cerebellum, a less studied part of the brain found below the notch in the back of your head. Here's a picture of some college notes I took showing the complexity of the anatomy inside the cerebellum. And here's a cool slide my professor took showing the pathways the cerebellum makes with the brain and spinal cord. I like the cerebellum a lot because if you're into sports, it's the part of the brain that trains your muscles to perfect a complex action like shooting a jump shot or precisely catching a baseball or softball. We often like to refer to this as muscle memory, which is the simplest way to describe the function of the cerebellum. I also really like that the cells in the cerebellum are really pretty and look like trees. If neuroscience is interesting to you, there are many fields you can go into that branch off from it such as neurology, cognitive neuroscience, psychopathology, and many more. The brain truly is the body's most complex organ.